going to be doing the sour taste challenge with four bags of sour candies. We're going to taste them, figure out what the flavors are, and see who can keep it in their mouth the longest. While also talking about our adventures with ghost hunting. So that should be interesting. So if anybody's familiar with our Lurking Spirits channel, uh, just tune in here to us and we're going to be doing one of these probably each week. We have our little spit thing here. We have our water here. So you want to start the challenge? Pick a candy. Any well, candy. Let's, well, let's just show what candies we're going to do. Okay. So I mean, I'm in the center, so this might, I mean, you can always give me another one, so. Say what it is. This one is uh, well, Haribo. Haribo Sour, Sour Streamers Zing. And this one's Mega Warheads Assorted Sour Candy. I'm probably gonna do that one last. And this That's one good. is Crybaby yeah. Extra Sour Bubble Gum. And then the last one is Sour Dudes Sour Bites. Okay, so what one, we don't want to start with the Warheads. We're going to do the Warheads and the Bubblegum last because I have so a feeling. Either, so, so, do we want to do the Haribo Sour Streamers or the Sour Dude? Let's do the Sour Dude Bites first. All right, Sour Dude. So sour Dude. We're going to do the Sour Dude. Okay. Open it up. Open it up. Oh, we will also be answering you guys' questions too. Um, we have three qu uh, questions from um, a subscriber, so we'll be answering those as well. After she gets that open. Now we're going to be open to any suggestions for upcoming challenges. We're going to be doing any suggestions you have pertaining to our Lurking Spirits channel. If you keep on tuning in, we will be giving prizes out on our Lurking Spirits, which we'll discuss at the end of this video here. If you're new here, I'm Gabriella. I'm Diane. And I'm Abby. She's the cameraman for most of the videos. And we investigate, although I'm not really in most of the videos because I don't like to. Be she in doesn't front of the speak camera. up. She doesn't speak up. I'm, I try not to be in front of the camera, so we do. Yeah, like I'm the like, one with the low self esteem, and you're the one that doesn't want to be in the camera. Yeah, but now I'm in the center. Yeah, I'm the so, I'm the thorn in between two roses here, and she's talking about not being in front of the camera. Can you just get it open? Open it up. We're anxious. Oh, okay. We're hungry. It's uh, open. We're gonna do two of these. So, we're gonna pick a flavor that we want, try it, and then we'll pick a second flavor. Do you want a red one, a blue one, a yellow one? Uh, let me see what the flavors one? are. What are the flavors? No, you're not supposed to look at the flavors. Oh, we can't look at the flavors, so we know. I don't think it says flavors. It's flavors on the back. First of sour, splash of sweet, no. bubble of a ube doo. Give me a red one. Yeah, it, it, it just says, says made with real flavor. fruit juice. Well, we we'll get a second choice anyway. What color? Give me a red. So now these are probably not going to be real sour, and they do have a sugar coating on it. So we're going to see who can keep it in their mouth without spitting it out. If we can chew it and swallow it, that would be even better. Bad with I think sour once things. we get, we should have got some of the sour lemon ones too, even though I don't like lemon. But once we get to the cry babies and the warhead, I can it's, it's game out. over. It's yeah. game over. Okay, ready? <laughs> We're backwards in three. Three, three two, two, one. one. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. But that damn thing sour? Yeah. It is. Overreact. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, not good with sour. It's okay, and I'm not either. Mm. It's not bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I told you I'm not good with sour. Bam, it's not even the sour though that I gets me, it's the flavor. The flavor's kind of oh. gross. Mm. When you get down to the very end of it, oh, that's it nasty. Old. How old are these? It's just like medicine. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, people, do not get this kind. 
Yeah, Best I don't get sour juice. Best May of next year. Oh, no, not next year. No, these year. are all current. They're all good. Mm -hmm. The year after. But we're talking about rip-off cheap brands. They're, this one's not like Haribo like or Five Babies or It tastes like medicine at the end. So this one was the Sour Dude. Sour Bites. Sour Dude. Are we going to try a second flavor of this or not? Uh -huh. Nope, we're good. I will give you guys a warning. They're, they're, they're sour. They're not bad until you get to the very end. Uh, it's like a like, bittery. Medicine. Or, yeah, not good. Should we answer a question? Yes, let's answer a question. All right, so this comes from our subscriber, Kai420. He asks, what would be the best place you guys have caught the most activity? Hmm. The most activity or like... Oh, I know that one. Or like, uh, I'll answer what you're thinking. If we're most activity or good evidence, I believe was Crybaby Bridge with that apparition that went right behind Chase. As far as the most activity, I'm going to say Oakwood Cemetery because if you remember there, we encountered something we do not know what it was, and it's scared to even. I'm going to have to say it's a mix between Oakwood Cemetery and. Um, the town hall. The town hall. I agree with that too because there was something in that gymnasium that touched me. Something that touched you in the gymnasium. Yeah. We kept on hearing in that noises. Kitchen. There was uh, the girls' bathroom doll door stall door. Girls' bathroom. Oh, door that's stall right. And too, the camera got knocked over too in that video. Remember? Yeah, yeah, and that was the video with the camera getting knocked Yeah, over. I would say, I mean, all of our um, investigations, there we've, we've been lucky where we've had a lot of things happen on us. But yeah, definitely Oakwood Cemetery would be the biggest one, in my opinion, because we had just so many things wanting to contact us at the same time, and it just... But we were not smart either, because we got plenty of warnings. We got warnings, and we just um, We them. want to talk, too, um, coming up here, we'll explain some of the equipment that we use, and some of the apps that we use on our phone and everything. I know a lot of people aren't into phone apps, but the one we use is pretty accurate and we're big fans of Twin Paranormal, plugging them, plugging them. River, Gabriella, here, single, <laughs> buddy, okay. Anyhow, if, if they happen to watch it. Um, they, they're, they're using a new app on their phone now called Necrometer or Necrometer, however people pronounce it different ways. I think it's necrometer. That one is really accurate and I will be uploading that when we go. Again, we're going to try to get a couple good venues there coming up, so keep your fingers crossed that we can secure those. Okay. In the, in the trash bag. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> Chase. Give it to Chase. Yeah, Chase, Chase might will like, like that. Okay, <laughs> the next one then we're going to do the Haribo Zing Sour Streamers. That will do the honor. Is that my foot? That was over. touching me. You're <laughs> touching me. Hopefully it's better than that. <laughs> we're going to try to get out one of these videos a week. It's going to be always two. We're going to do it like a some type of a challenge slash that's my clock in the background. Some type of challenge slash podcast so that you can continually ask us questions on uh, our site and we can answer them while we're doing these challenges. Wait, are we going to do another red one? I want a blue one this time. Mm -hmm. I want an orange one. We're, uh, I thought we were supposed to eat no, the we same can, color. Well, you can pick the, whatever color you want. I want orange. I think that one's pretty green apple. Yeah, I don't like green apple. I'm weird. I'm almost afraid to try another I red know, one. I'm after scared. That. But this is horrible, right? Yeah, yeah I'm hoping that it tastes like a Swedish fish, but like sour. Like a sour now, the big fish. problem with these, even though they're sour and we're doing the challenge, they are so coated with sugar, so we are getting a little bit of the sweetness with the sour, but... That last one's very nice. Yeah, that yeah, last was, one was... Actually, tasted, before I drink, drink, I mean, before I have it, I'm going to take a drink of my water. It kind of tasted like old. Like, it tasted fine at first, and it was a little bit sour, but then it started tasting like it was in the store for like yeah, a million years. And it, but again, it's an off-brand, so... Well, that's true, but... Ooh. And in the future, that's another thing we'll be doing, is we'll be taking off-brand products and name brand products and comparing them. First, we'll see if we can tell which one's which, and then we'll yeah, find the Yeah, we'll probably differences. do like a blindfold yeah. thing or whatever for that. And, yeah. Okay. All right. Again? Three, two, one. Oh, this one's far. Woo! This one has a really bad 
taste. Oh my gosh, this is delicious, but it is sour. Don't need a red one. Ah. Uh -huh. Mm. -mm. Mm, this is really good. It's but it's really sour. This one, if you guys ever had orange Sour Patch Kids, that's what this tastes like. This it's one, really good. I think I'm actually going to be able to swallow. This one, I believe, is blue raspberry. Mm, absolutely delicious. Wow. It packs she, a punch. She had a red one. That's why they say zen. I'm guessing red is not our color tonight. It should say right on the front, don't Red is sour red cherry. Is sour. Oh, it's cherry. It's not... Mm. Oh, it tastes like ass. That one's making me cry. We haven't even hit the cry baby yet. That one really good. Really, Whoa. really good. Okay. I'm scared for a Let's one. take another question. Whoa. All right. This is from the same subscriber. How long have you guys been into ghost hunting? Hmm. Well, actually hunting, we haven't been very mm -hmm. long. About maybe a year now. Yeah. I would say we're more like on the mature level. We really... We really never went ghost hunting or doing investigations before. So everything that we're experiencing is brand new to us. But on the getting experiences from uh, spirits and stuff, that's been a little bit longer than that's that. has been years. We've had Ooh. almost every house that we've moved into um, besides this one, we've had experiences, whether that be shadows on the wall, weird noises, not being able to sleep at night, hearing voices, like all these different types of things that kind of got us watching these ghost shows and we were like, well, that sounds like something that we would like to do. So, uh, obviously when me and her became older, she was like, well, how would you guys like to um, do a ghost hunting channel? And we were like, uh, yeah. Yeah, and we got it all together. Like, we all had personal experiences, like she said, from way back, for crying out loud, I'm like as old as Egypt. And um, so I've experienced a lot over the years. Um, but more recently, our bedroom, some of the places we've been, we kind of started getting into it and really enjoy doing it. The only thing is, is we want to try to get and secure more high caliber places to investigate. Um, couple of the places we're hoping to try to line up would be like the jailhouse in Evansburg. If we're lucky enough, maybe we can get prison. prison. Um, cemeteries are always a good place. Uh, they all any, have their stories. Any sanatoriums? A sanatorium I would love to do. There's one in Pennsylvania, a, a big one. I can't remember what the name of it is. If like, we could secure that, that would be like Even a little school. piece of heaven. I think I would love to do a school because there's just so much history in schools that you're not told about when you're like, when it closes down or what the history was prior to you going there or even if you didn't go there, there was tons of other historical events that happen there and you're just like what actually what actually happened here we'd like to get to maybe fort mifflin too up in, in pennsylvania of course we're back here in our home state where yay we want to be and um uh tom my husband their dad would like to eventually take us to gettysburg he's already had personal experiences in gettysburg even though he doesn't want to be part of this um not because he doesn't believe in it or like it or anything like that. It's just he's too busy for one, and it's not a personal preference of his like it is ours because we've experienced a lot. Um, but just keep on asking questions, folks. Um, we'll be on to the next sour challenge here. Um, We're going to do the warheads. We'll see. This is going to be the warheads. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared because the first one was just a cheap rip off. There brand. is a lemon flavored sour. Mm, I want it. I don't like lemons. I want the lemon. There's a watermelon one. Oh, baby. Yes. Or black cherry. No, no watermelon to me. Watermelon's got lemon. Watermelon. See, lemon, the problem with lemon is it's already sour by itself. Yeah. And then when they add the more of the things to it, it gets really, really sour real fast. The blue raspberry is going to be hella sour. I this one, this, this, I'm telling you what, this zing Mine's good. is really good. I will finish this. Mine tastes like up, a sour patch kid. And I didn't put it in with the spit up part. I just <laughs> put it on along the side. Because like if anybody's saying, say, oh, that's gross, you put it in now. I didn't do that. It's pretty cool. Here it is. 
The warm is the lemon. That was gonna get you back. Are right. one of these like jawbreakers or what are you just they? suck them? Yeah, yeah, yeah they would be like they would be like a jawbreaker. Yeah, they're basically a jawbreaker. A jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. I can't even open it up. That's twins. I have two for one. Hey, twin paranormal. <laughs> River. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you gotta be now. We like to just go investigating with you, your favorite group. We're plugging you. Alright, so we'll do this then. We'll have it like this and we'll pop it in. Like is it soft? Or is, no, it is hard. It's hard. It's, like, oh, it's hard. What kind should I get? I don't know. Get blue. blue. You like blue raspberries. You haven't yeah, had a blue one yet, right? It's gonna be hella sour though. I mean, that's not, not compared to my lemon. Bro! My lemon's always sour, but I'm a little bit nervous about this because th this is a warhead. Again, this is a name brand. So this it's one. It's rip off. So this one, it, we're going to do on how long we can keep it in our mouth before, or if we can get it all the way down. So I'm, we'll see because this one's bad and then the next one's bad. So the next one is extra sour and it's bubblegum. So what we literally going to have to do with that one is bite into it, chew it, and see who can chew it the longest. Oh gosh. Which, guess who's gonna be the loser? <laughs> okay. Do you wanna count down? I'm afraid. Look at mine. Well, I, mean, I can see yours. Look at mine. They're all gonna be sour. All right. You gonna count down, or do you want me to? Go ahead, go for it. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> that is the most sour thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. It burns! It did! Holy shit! I only had it in for half of a second! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good for so bad at the same time. See, mine was, mine's bad. The flavor's mm. bad. Yeah, that didn't taste like whatever flavor it's supposed to be. It's, is that supposed to be watermelon or was that cherry? That's supposed to be watermelon. watermelon. I didn't taste like watermelon. I'm still holding it in. That's because you didn't eat it oh. long enough. <laughs> that freaking thing was nasty. It was sour. Look at that. I'm crying. I don't, <laughs> hey, don't flick people off. I'm sorry for flicking now. Oh my I'm gosh. How are more. you girls doing it? No, it's the not sour is not. No, it's it's sour is gone. I ain't taking it till it gets the sour is gone. Or lick it. I okay. did lick it. I sucked it. <laughs> and it's sucking it, more. I ain't sucking your, your more. Your tongue's blue. Look. See that blinky? Okay. Yeah, no. The I, diaper's I, bad. I'm almost afraid to do those. I'm mm -hmm. not. The warhead's worse, I think. Oh my gosh, that warhead. I'm, people told me they were sour, but holy bananas. Yeah, they burn. Yeah, it did. It did. It was bitey. Cross because the sour stuff. Wow. Hold on. First 30 seconds are extremely intense. Hang in there. Yeah, nope. no. I was lucky to hang in for three seconds. All right, I'm done. Not because it's sour, but it really tastes bad. It tastes like a cough drop. That was not good. I don't like mine. That's what it is. Malic acid. That's so on the... It's, they put so much All right. on no. it. I'm done with Another that. Question. I won this it's challenge. Well, it's not that I didn't, it, I just took it off because it, yeah, I, but I kept it in my mouth for longer. Is there any more questions for us? Yeah, there's one more. Oh my god, my tongue. This one's kind of goes back to what we were just talking about, but I'm still going to ask it anyways. It's by the same subscriber again. Um, they said, what made you guys start up spirit hunting? Yeah, so, so basically it goes back to the Yeah, our podcast. Question. So, and the podcast, yeah. It would just be our experiences when we, our childhood and, you know, us growing up and us, the experiences that we experienced throughout our life. Like, for me, I got scratched. Um, so I was like, man, I mean, most people run away from that, but I was like, well, I want to know what's, what why point? it scratched me. Like, what, what's the purpose of why it would do that, you know? Well, the problem is there's a lot of skeptics out there, and that's okay. You can be a skeptic. You don't need to believe in anything we say we do, but one of the issues that we kind of had, well, we want to answer questions that we all have of things that happen to us that we can't explain. Well, when Abby got scratched, she literally came into my bedroom that night and I literally, 
I, I said that twice. I don't like being redundant. I saw the name Amy form right in front of my eyes on her arm. At first, I thought she was joking around and was carved, you know, scratched an AW on her arm. And then it turned into Amy and I, like it freaked us out. And when her friends in school heard about it, they said, why are you lying about that? Why are you making up this story? You know, that's not even something funny to make up, you know, just trying to get attention. That's not the case. I saw it with my own eyes. She was scared to death. I was scared to death. What next going on with my kid? I said, you're going to sleep and get with me tonight. Heck with this. We don't know what's going on. Which later on, if you watch one of the videos that we did in Gabriella's room, there was a vanity that had a mirror on it that was in that room. And apparently she must have been trying to come through to Abby. What we, what we found out, and you can believe it or you don't, that, that's your prerogative, was that a girl named Amy committed suicide in her closet and just wanted to talk to somebody about it. She, I guess she was lonely, she just needed, so it wasn't so much that she wanted to harm Abby, she just wanted to reach out. I think to have her story told that, hey. Well, that's the happened. thing too, you know, a lot of times when spirits scratch you or touch you in a way that you might not like it's not because they're being mean or anything or that they want to harm you it could possibly be just because they're trying to get your attention and you're not listening to them well and a lot of things that we do to pertain to we just want the real story to come out we went to oakwood cemetery there was a lot of different stories pertaining to different things up there and we found out something totally different than what we were told the best example was Crybaby Bridge. Oh my gosh. The story that the mother threw her baby over and she was looking for her baby and people were going up saying, I killed your baby, I killed your baby. Like that's wrong because what we got come through was, was one of the original stories that was out and she came through and she told us it was purely an accident that uh, a, a vehicle hit them or something. She was pushing her baby in the stroller they got hit, her baby went in the water, she got, you know, looking for her baby, she went back, I, get, I think she, did she say she killed herself then after that, from just being so distraught so. from losing her baby? And her husband. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, she had just found out that her husband got killed in the service, and it was, she was going through a lot of bad stuff, but we, we just want to hear the true story, because there's always a story to be told, and I've always said along, you know, there's two sides to every story. Try to get the right side, not you know, not what everybody's fabricating. And hopefully, we cleared up a lot of things. I know a lot of people still going to believe that she killed her baby and all that. But again, everybody has their opinion. Everybody can be skeptical. They can do what they want. That's their prerogative. Are we ready to do the crybaby? We are, but I'm afraid. As you noticed, <laughs> crybaby for crybaby bridge. Go ahead, Dad. Uh, you know what's going to happen with me on that one. Why am I the opener? Because you're good at it. Chase is probably going to be getting a lot of candy here. I'm yeah. going to put that one aside because I will finish out these. That one was really delicious. All right. What? Uh, I'll do orange. There's lemon, cherry, berry, orange, apple. I'll do orange. Uh, I don't want a lemon. Oh. This last lemon didn't taste so good. Um, Choose. Which one would be the least sour? Probably blue. Oh, that's an empty one. Oh, I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> what would oh, oh, yeah. I take that one? Hey, they ripped this off. I'm going to take it back to the store and say, I want my mama to buy it. Again, it wasn't even open yet. Um, you got to pretend to be a carrot. Lemon, cherry, berry, on. orange, or apple. I would think your best bet would probably be berry. Oh. That's a, a slippery. Yeah. Apple would probably be the green one, huh? Yeah. Or, or um, the red. No, that would be cherry. Cherry would be red. Berry would probably be blue, blue, blue then, huh? Yeah. I'm oh. going to try a blue. Uh, I think she just already tried a blue. Now, these are saying extra sour. Mm. So, and it's bubble gum. They're only sour once you bite into them, which I'm scared of. But so that's what we have to do. Uh, we have to put it on uh, our mouth and we have to I chop guess her will try a blue one. Oh, wait, you got a, a orange. I'll try an orange one with Abby. 
I'll do the eye one out. You want me to try an orange one too? We can all just do an orange? Yeah, let's do an orange. We'll all do an orange. Okay, so like I said, we, we, let it, we have to bite into this and chew it. Well, that was impossible. Smell it. It smells bad. Ew. Ew. Why does it smell like feet? <laughs> Oh my god, it literally I smells like the I can't even open mine. Oh, we should, you know, next one we should do the Bean Boozle. Yeah, we wanted to that. Do that would be so fun. But we'll go to Walmart or something to get the Bean Boozle yeah. because the local oh, store doesn't. It? This smells really bad. It smells like ass. It smells like something you wouldn't want to eat. It does not smell like orange. It does smell like <laughs> ass. <laughs> All right, are we ready? You know, I'm, I'm afraid of the monkey putting his, his hand in his ass and smelling it and like passing out. <laughs> That's what this smells like. <laughs> okay, do you want to count down, guys? Uh, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't want to put this in my mouth. I know, it smells so bad. It does. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. That is not orange. Oh, I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh the aftertaste is, is so just bad. nasty. Do people actually eat those and like them? Ugh. I know. That was not. Oh, that was the worst. That was, I and got... don't we, we still have to do that again and figure out what flavor it is. That uh -huh. was orange. That was orange. That was no, orange. I mean, like pick out a flavor. We'll do that on another challenge. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, that, I thought that these things here. These, wow. I'm going to try blue ones. Well, they, I, I thought those things were bad because they were generic. They were cheap ripoff. That thing was. I'm going for the it. Worse. Oh god, she's going for a blue one. <laughs> You're braver than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> oh! It doesn't taste like berries. And it either. Seems I don't think it would be so bad. It is very the very, aftertaste. The aftertaste is just—it's like you're eating that would be James probably. a rock or something. I don't know, yeah. or like yeah, or something. I don't even know how to describe That's it. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah, these things are good. Yeah. This one here. <gasps> okay. So, is there anything we want to talk about before we end this, since we finished with every, all of our candy? Mm, that one is so delicious. Mm. That um, you guys can think of. Well, let's go with, overall, what do you two feel was our best inv investigation overall? I know the most hits we got was the private home investigation. Which is understandable because he totally, his personality just totally yeah, changed. Yeah, that, something took over. Something him. happened there, definitely, there's no doubt. But you personally, what do you think was the overall best inv investigation we had? Like how well it went? Now mind you, we have coming out tomorrow night our um, train Depot, Bountain, South Carolina Train Depot. Um, it's the Ruth Drake Art Museum now. Yeah, and what we'll do is we won't say anything about that until that comes out, and then our next video we'll tell you guys. We'll like, if you guys have any questions about it, we'll tell you then. That one was good. That I will say was good. I mean, we might. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Um, it was good. I. Think... But before before the museum overall, Gabriella, which one do you think? Overall, was our best. I would have to say Crybaby Grinch. The smoothest, I think. I, is there a reason why? It went the smoothest. It was a little cold out, but 
along with the story that was told and then finding out that something that was completely different from what how it was the legend was supposed to be i feel like that made it better we did have a lot of responses though plus look down we caught the apparition right behind joe's mm -hmm. running abby i think my opinion would be the town hall the town hall it's just it was really amazing hearing some of the stories that along with the building and you know them saying about them knowing the regular people that come in and whatnot and it was just overall to me i thought it was the best investigation i kind of i think i'm going to agree with you on that one um but i okay. am going with the crybaby bridge also because we had a lot of activity both of them i think the only thing with the town hall is we had more coming through. We just didn't have, like, we had the builder of the the father that was at the bridge that helped construct the original bridge. And then, of course, we had the lady in question. But in Williamston, of course, like, we had that whatever was behind me. We had the responses in the kitchenette. We had in the conference room. We had a lot of stuff. We had the camera getting knocked over. It, and it went smooth. It was a very, very nice. Yeah. Um. So overall, I would think multiple spirit wise. That you know what though, I, I'm going to take that back. I like Cry Baby Bridge, but then Oakwood Cemetery. I think Oakwood Cemetery would have been in the top spot, which has a little bit less viewers than the other ones. It would have been in the top spot, but we had so many interferences that night. We oh, had, you know, groups. Yeah, because we had group after group. Every time we started investigating, there was people pulling up beside us, asking questions and telling us what they were doing and what they were encountering. And it wasn't until after midnight when we went back up to the cemetery, when we re-entered and went back to Potter's Field part of it, where we, I think if we would have had our whole investigation going like that, it would have been through the roof. Incredible. Yeah because there was a lot of activity there. And the unmarked graves, those people want, they want to be known. They want to be recognized. They, they don't want to be forgotten. Yeah, and I that think that's very important. It, it made you cry, you broke down. Um, it, it touched all of us, you know? I mean, people just don't, just because they were poor or they were old yeah. or whatnot, they were thrown and- I wasn't you know, there. Yeah, it, it just, it's not right. But- um, On top of you getting bit. Yeah, and that's right. You got bit there, but that and that was on the yeah, other part on, of the cemetery. On my thigh. I think that had a lot to do with some stuff that was going on up at the park, up I mean, up in the cemetery that oh, I yeah. should have been going on. Oh yeah, that was. Um, uh, but yeah, overall, so all three of us, if we had to pick a number one spot, the three of us, which what would you say would be number one? Number all one between the three of us. That we can all agree upon. Let's do it from one to three. What's, okay. what's our top one and what's our least top one? Not because we hate it, but it just wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be. Okay, top one, I would have to say Oakwood. We got scared. There was something there. And people may not believe, you know, there was something there. Uh, call me crazy. I don't care. I'm saying we encountered a uh, shapeshifter or not shapeshifter, a skinwalker. A skin it was something. It was not human. We were warned. All the telltale signs were there. Some people said coyotes. No, the coyotes were not. Y'all, I think the craziest part about that night was bears aren't in season for a little while still. And when I saw this thing, I it, I just saw eyes at first, and then I looked at it, and I saw the outline of it, and it was like moving like a bear does, but everybody was saying that they're not in season yet, and so it was like, so if that wasn't a bear, what the fuck was that? Yeah, and, and yeah, because they were still in hibernation, and the funny thing about it is, we were getting the warnings on our spare box, we were getting the warning on all of our equipment, but right before that, we heard what sounded like a man moaning or somebody calling out for yeah, help. Street now, street. that is a typical sign of what a skinwalker does. I mean, if you watch, I mean, we watch, God knows how many videos we watch, Paranormal. We are mm -hmm. so freaking obsessed, <laughs> especially Twin Paranormal. Um, Project Fear Now is our latest obsession. 
a ghost hunters started it out for me. Their very first investigation was in Altoona, Pennsylvania, helping out a family that was yeah. haunted by spirits. I remember that very well. And um, they also went down to the Winber, um Midway down there, Mid um, Winber Hotel, and done investigating down there, which is pretty impressive. Um, but with all we watch and all the typical signs of what we were told about a skinwalker, that was, I, I, I'm convinced. And here's the other thing that kind of was eerie about that is we got scared because it started coming towards us. We got in the car, we took the car to the top part of the cemetery. By the time we got in a car to the top part of the cemetery, that freaking thing was up there already it watching and following us. us. Yeah. So you explain that to me. So it, it's, you know, there's- Yeah, it was so creepy. We, it, we think that it shape-shifted like as we were going up too. So from that bear thing that it was to a bat or something that could fly or something that could like walk super- <laughs> That, that is could really walk good though. Or run super fast. And like she said, we drove the whole way up to the top part of the cemetery that followed us. And we were like, we gotta get out of here or something bad is gonna happen. And so we had to cut it shorter than we would have liked because we were gonna stay there for a while. Yeah. We were gonna see if this we could get the statue to cry as the stores have been told that if you shine a light in the statue's eyes, it will cry or water or some liquid will just start pouring out of its eyes. And we were like, okay, that's that's kind of cool. I wonder what the story behind that is. But as we got up there and we were going to investigate the statue, we started feeling really weird mm. and we- It was up there already. Yeah, you Watching could, us. So when you encounter a skinwalker, um, due to our experience, you can feel it around you like the whole atmosphere just feels weird you're like something's wrong i j i don't know what it is but you trust your instinct because if you don't something bad will happen and that's what we were all afraid of um and also coyotes coyotes are a, another sign that that might not be a coyote that could be a skinwalker as well yeah. because they there. usually don't travel in groups um, they usually travel in one unless they find something that they're intrigued in. They usually don't attack you either, um, unless probably you're hurt or bleeding or by yourself. So, and the other funny thing about it is, is that when we were there in the first half, we went through the whole cemetery. And we didn't, we didn't feel uneasy or anything. We actually felt comfortable. Even though when we were running into tons of tons of people, but it, it didn't feel eerie. It mm. felt peaceful, like a cemetery. It should feel peaceful. I mean, that's their final resting place. But after midnight, and we still think it's because those people were sitting there. They were doing some kind of a seance or whatever they were doing. We found that bone there. Something happened after that point. But then, even me, which it takes a lot to razzle me on these investigations, and I just got so uneasy and. The warnings, you getting upset, you know, everything. It's just, yeah. we need to get out of it. So that would have been, I'm going to write that. I'd definitely say that was number one for the yeah, so most and scary and overall. Number, number two. will be your second. Um, Private Bridge. Wait. I'm going to say Williamston, the town hall, only because there was a lot of stuff. And there was a couple places yeah, in there where you got that Cry uneasy feeling. Yeah, and that's quite definitely. Crybaby is up in the top three, a hundred percent, no doubt. But Williamston, there was a couple spots in there where you did get that little bit of uneasy feeling. Yeah, especially as a gymnasium in the back area. I don't know why, but it just, it was odd. It was not normal. If you guys ever visit the Williamson Park and you go to the back where the tank is, you could just feel that it's, it, I mean, obviously it was a war place. But so we were talking about the, the town, town hall. The town hall. The Williamson Park. But in the park, yeah. it feels weird too. <laughs> and like where the tank is. Yeah. Um, in the town hall, definitely. There's something happening the in that gymnasium. Happened. Absolutely. Something. 
And Crybaby Bridge, let's talk about that one. Crybaby Bridge was an, an awesome investigation. It was our first real investigation with the equipment that we had. And we caught an apparition that we never thought we were going to be able to catch. Um, the only thing that I'd say that that's the reason why I put it as the third and not the first or second is because, yes, we caught an apparition, but we could have caught more. Like, it just, it didn't seem to want to talk to us at first. It didn't want to seem to communicate as much. Um, but as the night got longer, then things started happening, but we had to leave after a while, so well, it got Well, if late. you get a chance to see it, it's like 11 point something. I, I think yeah, that's what it was. The chase was there. on, he was doing, I think he just got done doing the spirit talker, and he was actually counting backwards or something, I thought. Yeah. There. And it, you have to look at it real quick, because it kind of like went right behind him. You could literally see it form, and then it kind of looked over like it said, oh shit, I'm caught on camera. And then it yeah. ran. Ironically, we didn't see it with our eyes at that time, but Chase at that time says, I think something went behind Diane. Yeah. I swear I saw a face. Mm -hmm. And I said, right ironically, that I felt like there's something that's yeah, right behind. Yeah, so, so right before that um, apparition showed, Chase was on, I think he was still on the spirit box. I think box, he was, yeah. Or he was getting ready to do the spirit box. And he says, whoa. He and he looks behind her and he goes i just saw um, a face, a face yeah. behind you and mom's like well i felt something behind me and then next thing you know the apparition that popping mm, up yeah. when we least expected it so now when we do our investigations we do use a lot of equipment on the phone there's an app called spirit talker um or anytime you use it you do put it on airplane mode it does cost, I think, $10. I think that's what the price of it was. Um, it's pretty accurate. We've had, even in her room when we investigated, we had very accurate oh responses. Gosh. We would ask a question and it just point on it. It would even be something pertaining to the room itself that not an app, any ordinary app, could just be like, oh yeah, there's currents, like, whatever. Certain color current. But yeah. this app here was like, the, what the color of it, what the shape of it was, like, and it was saying in what specific part of the room or what the spirit was by or yeah. what it was touching or, like, certain very specific things about the room that you could not hear from a normal app if you just downloaded, like, a word talking app and it was just, like... So we use that. We use the EVP recorder for... We got a lot of... I really wish I would have been able to save a lot of them um, before we started getting our cameras and a lot of the stuff where we could do the good editing and that. Um, we just didn't have enough room and our laptops and whatnot not to save all the EVPs and the videos. So we had a lot of really good catches on EVPs that we just had to throw out, yeah. which we're hoping in the future we don't have to do that. But we do have, we have two different kinds of REM pods. We have the actual REM pod REM pod and I have a square, it's a box room pod, which the spirits seem to like that one an awful lot. Oh yeah, well, and then, my room pod is a little blue one, that usually if that one goes off, that means that something that's very it's powerful. powerful. Yeah. And um, we've only had that go off like once, but of course it wasn't caught on camera. <laughs> of course, it was in our backyard where we know something, uh, of course we were in the southern, where there was a lot of, stuff that went on down in the south many 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 moons ago um not want to discuss that right now but that did go off for that um we use malmeter we use dowsing rods I on occasion you'll see me see me using the dowsing rods um we do have the emf readers which um sometime we can actually have a video mm -hmm. if chase wanted to do it we can actually do a video yeah we'll have him all in, in it with us um, we did get more cameras. We're trying to probably in the future here. I'll order another camera so if we can do if we can secure a really good place, we can have a camera set up. But we also have gauze meter, which the gauze meter um, on the last video. I think it was the last video. That was the town it hall was in the last video and the town hall. Yeah. Video. So the town hall video, um, you will hear a ticking. That is the gauze meter, and the gauze meter it kind of works like a, a REM pod does. It's about by touch. Like you, you go by it and it touches. Um, but we, 
at the town hall, that little girl really liked contacting you. With it, that was, it, it was, and it was funny because it was right when they were just setting up all the equipment and I'm just sitting there and on table and they're like, what the heck, I'll just put this up, see, you know, because, you know, we're hearing all these stories. Set it right there and I said, there's somebody here, can you set up one of these One things? of the things that I was really expecting from uh, the town hall was that door like slamming. Like, and we didn't catch yeah, that. Yeah, like the mayor who was telling that. us how the yeah. door, it's really heavy, it's a really heavy metal door. Um, how one day he was walking by and it couldn't have been the air conditioning because again, it was very heavy. Um, it just slammed shut and he was like, and a whole bunch of other things, but I really wanted to catch that. But then again, think about it. it. It didn't shut that door, but we had the camera there. And what did it do? It threw. Yeah, it the, knocked the camera yeah. over, but it also slammed a door in the, in the best restroom. Yeah, in the women's restroom. So we had a lot of we had a lot of good times. We enjoyed doing it. Is there? Uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. Is there? A funny moment you can think of during an investigation that you remember the most that kind of helped <laughs> calm things down and made it more enjoyable but also kind of eased the tension a little bit can you think of a moment like that that really I can right off the bat but I'm gonna get back it's funny because you're, you're asking that question which I'll get to we're getting to we've had some comments saying you know you guys need to let each other talk and you're doing this and doing that. A lot of it's that we're not letting each other talk and stuff like that. It's just that we get into the moment and then we want to, it's like icebreakers too. It, it gets so intense and you're having this happen and you're hearing this and you're saying, hey, did you hear that? And all this stuff is going on and you're trying to break the tension. So we kind of just start jumping in so it's not because we all have the utmost respect for each other mm -hmm. um, these are my girls you know i'm gonna have respect for them they definitely have respect for me funniest moment getting back to that was when we were in the conference room oh yeah and i can't remember what the question was but there was questions being asked and we had the rem pod on and i think we had the emf reader on and um Something was said, and Eric was there, and Eric says, I don't swing that way. And we just, yeah. like, we yeah. cracked up. We cracked up. I wish I could remember what was uh, said. But I, Eric, know, I think was that was that when day. Chase was on in the S's method, too. I think it was, it was just He us. was, yes, he was. And Chase was in the S's method. He had no clue what was going on, because it was something that he said. He said something, and then Eric was like, I don't swing that way. And then we all of a sudden, <laughs> we busted our gut. It was so hilarious. It was. I mean, and things with the, like that moment, you know, things like that, you have to have that like little bit of ease because sometimes when we do our investigations, it does get extremely serious. I mean, because we don't like to be fooling around a lot because we want to make the spirits know that we're not joking about them or disrespecting them in any way because we're not like that. But we also want to have where we are not freaked out ourselves and we can have that time where we kind of joke around but also still have yeah because seriousness. we take our investigating serious yeah. we, we don't this it's nothing to joke about we can answer questions i mean we're up to doing private home investigations too um we as you know we put it on our youtube channel but if you say hey i'll let you do a private investigation but i don't want to be on we'll be respectful for that just we won't oh, yeah. we won't even disclose a place like when we did the last private we didn't disclose the place. Now he was on there. We kind of he kind of took over, which we didn't want to do. But that was okay. You know, it was his house. We we respected what he wanted. Um, but you know, we enjoy doing what we want. Do you have a funny moment that you can think of? Um, when we were at Crybaby Bridge, I again I don't remember what was said, but it was when I was looking over the ledge and I think I was like there's food down there and then we were talking about like homeless people. And then uh I was like, well, what if the ghost is homeless? And then you said something about like homosexuals or something. I was like, What? <laughs> it was sometimes I'm I'm old. I don't hear things right. When I just I was like I was not talking about me. homosexuals, no, mother. They laugh at me. They make fun of me all the time. Like They'll say, Mom, did you hear that? And I'm like, no, I'm half freaking deaf. How am I supposed to hear what you guys are hearing? I want to. I think it's in the video somewhere, and I was just, like, cracking up laughing and being mom in the background. Yeah, I don't remember what was said, but 
I was like looking over because I saw um, trash or something and I was like, hmm, I wonder if we left a bag of chips there or something. It seems to me like I didn't say homosexual. It seems to me like I said something. Instead of homeless, I said something else. And you said, Mom, that's not right to say that. And I'm like, well, it's, they are, like, or something. I, hobo? Hobos or something. Yeah, maybe I said hobos. Or, yeah, I think I did. And you said, well, Mom, that's not, don't call them hobos or something. I said, well, they are. They, they, I don't remember. I think it was something like that. But, okay, so let's try to get this finalized here. Um, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. Please subscribe. Please push the bell icon so that you'll get notifications that we have a new one. We're going to try to do one of these each week before we put out a video. Yes. And we are up to, if you have suggestions for challenges, I know this one was kind of a little bit lame today, but it was our first one, so. Um, no, please comment. Please, please, please comment. Yeah, don't be afraid, even if it's for a lurking spirit. So yes, if you have suggestions. ask us questions. Tell us what we could probably fix to make our content better and more likable for you guys. Um, tell us if you guys are skeptics and why, and so maybe we can like try, try to, to convince you. Yeah, try show to convince you, you hey, that um, the way that we believe is that we believe that there are there is an afterlife and things are trying to communicate with us almost every day. Um, so yeah, we we're trying to better ourselves. We're trying to better our community and our videos and our content so if you have any questions or if you have any comments at all please put them down below abby you have anything uh, yeah actually um we are almost at our 125 subscriber mark i was gonna say that too. so we um are, yeah that's for our lurking spirits yes which is for our lurking it. spirits um we will be doing a giveaway once we hit 125 they will be getting this bag here it has our logo on it. Let me bring it over there. We're doing a show, show the, what the bag looks like. It's what the bag looks like. It has our um, logo on it. But one of you lucky subscribers, once we hit 125, will be getting this, fast, this bag. It has um, a drawstring. It's like a backpack. There is a zipper inside. It's pretty roomy. It's pretty good size. Um, there's two things you have to do though in order to be entered. You have to be following our Facebook account, which I will have it down below so you guys can click it. And also we want you to comment on our video once we release it about the giveaway. Um, that way we can put you in a raffle and at the end of the week we will choose a winner and just we'll contact you privately probably and ask you for your details. But that's what we'll be doing um for the giveaway now in the future we'll probably be giving away like t-shirts maybe baseball caps as we go we'll tell you what our subscribers well so far we're doing pretty decent we're not at the goal we want to be yet but we love you guys you're you're really supporting us which makes we us happy our we do growing family we do we 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 love every our subscriber sweet. and every viewer um just keep on doing what you're doing uh, we'll be giving out badges maybe Sometime in the future, we'll be trying to maybe do patches, um, stickers, a bunch of cool stuff coming up for each goal that we reach. Um, just like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and push that bell so you get the notification. Is there anything else? I don't think like so. I think that's all. All right, are we going to say our thing? Until next time, stay, stay spooky! spooky. Hey! So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to be... <laughs> we're going to be tasting these and also talking about our adventures while ghost hunting. That's not, not the challenge. Though. I mean, that's not the challenge, but... <laughs> do you need to do the intro? No, please. I got it. Just give me a second. We're going to be doing the sour candy challenge. And okay. action! Today we're going to be doing the sour candy challenge um, while talking about Let's our... Quick one. We got three questions. Oh, right? cool! Okay, cool. Okay, start all over. And, and action! Today! Or hey, everybody! Today! <laughs>
have a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. Hey everybody! So today we are going to be doing the sour taste test 